Hi, everyone. Uh, my name's Emma Priest. Uh, I'm a senior associate in the Real Estate Speaks team at Charles Russell Speechleys. Um, I'm going to be talking today about terminating agricultural tenancies in the context of development land. Um, I specialise in a whole range of real estate disputes matters, including commercial, residential and agri agricultural property, um, and have particular experience in dealing with agricultural tenancies. We also have a dedicated strategic land team who work solely with development of land, and I work very closely with them when they happen to be dealing with a development uh, that's going to be subject, is subject to an agricultural tenancy. And I usually advise on the termination of the tenancy as part of the planning process. Right, so moving on. So the development of agricultural land um, is something we're obviously seeing a lot of. Um, purely because there does remain an undersupply of housing at present. The Conservative manifesto target of 300,000 homes per year by the mid-2020s remains in place, although we'll have to see how they're doing against that. Um, and as a result of this demand, landowners are considering the development potential of their own land as a result. What we're seeing is also a lot of large estate owners look at diversifying their portfolio. Quite often, their land will include an agricultural tenancy um, and they're asking for advice on how they terminate it with a view to possibly developing that land in the future. So just a brief overview of agricultural holdings and the exact type of tenancy that I'll be talking about today. So agricultural holdings are governed by the Agricultural Holdings Act 1986. Um, the key features of those are shown on the slide. They are beginning before the 31st of August 1995 um, and there's statutory security of tenure for the tenant and that is imposed through the restriction on the landlord's notice to quit. Um, that means that the landlord can only take back possession in really restrictive circumstances as well. Um, these tenancies, they can include rights of succession to a certain close relative on death and retirement. And they're generally seen in comparison to the later farm business tenancies I won't be talking about today to be quite tenant friendly. And that's because they are difficult to terminate. 